Greetings, cats and kittens. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back to Libby's Lullabies. Today, I am going to be reading Love by Matt Della Pena with illustrations by Lauren Long. So I want you guys to sit back or lie down. Either way, enjoy this story. In the beginning, there is light and two wide-eyed figures standing near the foot of your bed and the sound of their voices is love. A cab driver plays love softly on his radio while you bounce in the back with the bumps of the city and everything smells new and it smells like life. Love, too, is the smell of crashing waves and a train whistling blindly in the distance. And each night, the sky above your trailer turns the color of love. In a crowded concrete park, you toddle towards summer sprinklers while older kids skip rope and run up the slide. And soon, you are running among them. And the echo of your laughter is love. On the night the fire alarm blares, you're pulled from sleep and whisked into the street where a quiet old lady is pointing to the sky. Stars shine long after they flamed out, she tells you, and the shine they shine with is love. But it's not only stars that flame out, you discover. It's summers, too, and friendships and people. One day you find your family nervously huddled around the TV, but when you ask what happened, they answer with silence and shift between you and the screen. In your dream that night you are searching for a love that seems lost. You open and close drawers, lift cushions, empty old toy bins, but there's nothing. You wake with a start in the arms of a loved one who bends to your ear and whispers, it's okay, it's okay, love. And in time, you learn to recognize a love overlooked, a love that wakes at dawn and rides to work on the bus, a slice of burned toast that tastes like love. And it's love in each deep crease of your grandfather's face as he lowers himself into an overturned bucket of fish. And it's love in the rustling leaves of gnarled trees lined behind the flower fields. And it's love in the made up stories your uncles tell in the backyard between wild horseshoe throws. <laughs> And the man in rags outside the subway station plays love notes that lift into the sky like tiny beacons of light. And the face staring back in the bathroom mirror, that too is love. So when the time comes for you to set off on your own, heavy winds will sweep past your building and great gray clouds will congregate above. Your loved ones will stand there like puddles beneath their umbrellas, holding you tight and kissing you and wishing you luck. But it won't be luck you'll leave with because you'll have love. You'll have love, love, love. Love comes in so many forms. So many shapes and sizes and ways. What are some of the things that you love? I love apple juice and waffles with bananas and pecans. I love cats and dogs. And I love reading. I love my grandmother. I love the sound of the wind. 
And those are only a few of the things that I love. I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your day or your evening, your week, or your weekend. And I will see you next time on Libby's Lullabies. Cheers.